Hello, as a continuation to the earlier lectures number 1 and number 2, we are going to start from here. B hyzen Z. So, it is very formal. What are you called as? Lesen C, Unhoren Z, Ordenen Z, the Antwarten Zoo. So, I am just going to play the audio now. It is 4A. Aufgabe 4a Woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. So, I'm just going one Aufgabe one. 4a Woher kommen Sie, Frau Lang? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich komme aus Deutschland. I'm coming from Germany. Woher? Where are you coming from? Mrs. Long. Frau is Mrs. or wife also. Here it is. Here we have to take the meaning of Mrs. Ich komme aus Deutschland. With welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Spanisch, Englisch und Deutsch. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. So, wo wohnen Sie? Wohnen ist to live. Wo oh, wohnen Sie? Where are you living? Wo, where are you living? Ich wohne in Frankfurt. Similarly, we have a Spielen Sie Dialog. Wie heißt du du? What are you called as? Ich heiße Jan. It is, the pronunciation is for J, it is Y. Ich, ich heiße Jan. Woher kommst du du? It, it's all the informal version. The earlier version it was with the C. The C is formal U. Here the do is the informal U. Woher comes to do? Where are you coming from? Aus Frankfurt from. So aus is nothing but it is from from Frankfurt. Wo wohnst du? And uh, where are you living? Here also we have. So you have to make a note of it. Here for the formal Formal U, we use EN as the word, verb ending. For the informal U, we use the ST as the uh, ending in the verb. So, for all the 98 percentage of the verbs for the do in the present form, which carries ST as the ending. In, un o owns do, in, in is a preposition. That means, as like in English, we have the same meaning as in. So, in Zurich. Okay, so these are the W Frage. So 1, 2 and 3 types have been given. B is a how or what. The meaning is how or what. Here we have to take what as the meaning for this context. B heißt du. What are you called as? Wo wohnst du? Where are you living? Woher kommen sie? Uh, where are you coming from? Or else we can say woher comes du. Also we can ask here. Woher comes du? Woher kommen sie? So this is the informal version. And then this one is the formal version. Formal version, yeah. So for this question, we can say Kish Komeos Frankfurt or Ish Komeos India. And Wo wohnst du? Wo wohnen sie? Ish wohne in Zurich or in Zurich alone is the answer. Listen sie, read this und ergänzen sie. Ergänzen sie is to fill the dashes here with the verb and actually. Das ist Frau Long, this is Mrs. Long, sie kommt. So here what we have to see is this verb, the common verb conjugates according to the according to the third person singular. So the C here it is she, originally it is she, it is not the formal you, it is she. For the third person, here is he, C is she, we call it as small c, that means she, which starts with a small letter, even though it is starting as an initial letter in the sentence, definitely it comes in the capital letter. So here we should not uh, confuse ourselves with the c for the formal u. C comped. So all this, uh, all these verbs for the third person singular, we have to put the T as our ending in the verb. Mostly, almost all the verbs. The T as the 
conjugated ending for the all the verbs mostly c won't and also we have to say won't in frankfurt for for the won and we have to use in as our preposition and for the common we have to use os as our preposition so yarn so this is we are speaking about for long in a formal way and for yarn we are going to speak in a informal way so yarn also yarn comped for the because he is also the third person singular yarn comped as frankfurt yet owned in zurich so here we could not able to differentiate whether are we like a Uh, say, saying it in the informal or the formal way here it is the c is the mm, she and the er is here it is he that means we are speaking about yarn okay gish wone ish come so these are all the important verbs in this lesson wone to live common to come sein is uh, in english we call it as to be verbs to be verbs so but this is a very irregular format so we can use this ish bin do best er c is the c send so here there are only four to five pronouns are only there uh, so all all the pronouns has not been listed in this box so whatever it's given here it is uh, wise to uh, study this pronouns um, like we have to make uh, ourselves remember like the conjugation so for all ish for the ish for all the verbs we have to the we have to put the e as the ending unlike onan and common the same will form a different format it is bin always the bin is nothing but i am am and uh, do this is you are and garsi uh, is is i s and the c sin this r only so it is the plural form r and it is the the above one do is the singular form r bunzi maganzi try interviews in their c form not here and z so we can say uh, b hyphen z so as the as our first question we can say it as b hyphen c so it is a formal way and then the next question is wo hai common z all the nouns are capitalized here in german and wo hai wo wons wo own and z is the third one so like that they are asking us to give three three interviews so as far as possible we have to ask three persons minimum as a in order to best learn the language where is this where is this is nothing but it is also one of the uh, the other type of w frage but here they, they haven't mentioned here but we can include here where is who where is who so who is this where is this who is this stellen sie einer partner eine partnerin for so it is the trend bar a verb so for stellen is to introduce introduce your friend where is this so who is this we are introducing the partner the ander and rotten then name and so the others have to rotten is to guess to guess the names okay see comp as valencia see won't in so and so so they will be in the class during uh, the offline classes the persons uh, the other persons they might guess and they will say the answer is this is ana cristina ramos so the here uh, the partial and we you have to think uh, you have to make it a note of it because for stellen the stellen the the second part of the verb only which will comes in the beginning of the sentence and the the for always the tail of the verb which the the initial part of the verb which always take the last last position in the sentence so it is called train bare verbun it is nothing but separable verbs separable verbs okay and here we are with the numbers it's very easy actually but uh, 
anyway we have to for each and every language and so i'm also teaching uh, chinese and uh, french as well so the numbers uh, in the initial days it is very tough to learn the language but uh, slowly we can able to catch the rhythm of the language these allen these allen is nothing but numbers horenzi then then zalen rap uns brechen sie dann laut mit okay null eins null eins zwei drei vier fünf sechs sieben acht neun zehn elf zwölf drei zehn vier zehn fünf zehn sechs zehn sieben zehn Achse, Neunse, and Zwanzig. So from the Zwanzig onwards, it is like um, the other way around. So we will see it very short, very shortly. Four and Z, not here and Z, the telephone number. So we are going to listen to the next one, which is eight B. Six uh, B. Aufgabe 6b 1 Guten Tag, Hotel Zentral, Rita Wolf. Was kann ich für Sie tun? Guten Tag, Klein. Ich möchte Claudia Berg sprechen. Frau Berg ist leider nicht da. Kann sie zurückrufen? Ja, bitte. Wie ist Ihre Telefonnummer, bitte? 0 1 5 9 8 2 3, 4, 6, 0, 7. Ich wiederhole. 0, 1, 5, 9, 8, 2, 3, 4, 6, 0, 7. Ja, vielen Dank. Auf Wiederhören, Herr Klein. Auf Wiederhören. Zwei. Guten Tag, Hotel Zentral, Rita Wolf. Was kann ich für Sie tun? Guten Tag, Petra Groß. Ich möchte Frau Müller sprechen. Frau Müller ist leider nicht da. Kann sie zurückrufen? Ja, bitte. Wie ist Ihre Telefonnummer bitte? 0157 831 6924. Ich wiederhole. 0157 8316924. Ja, das ist richtig. Danke. Auf Wiederhören, Frau Groß. Auf Wiederhören. Okay, like that we can able to ask the other person what is their telephone number, but it is always formal only. We have to frame the sentence in the formal way. So if it is a male male partner means we have to ask them with the year and year and is your only nothing but your so in the earlier lectures i have mentioned that ihr in my in my uh, in my lecture so ihr uh, ihr have various ihr here it is uh, they have added en uh, in order to they have uh, given it as in the accusative case so later in this book we we are going to look about the the various uh, the four cases in the uh, the four cases uh, in the German language. The first case is the accusative case. The accusative case is nothing with the the any sentence with the subject plus verb plus object is the accusative case. So here also we can take it as an example. So this this subject is the uh, the subject is the uh, like a given partner or uh, so it. Uh, it follows the uh, it follows the this subject verb plus object here so whatever the verb we are using uh, in that for the masculine the partner is a masculine noun here it is a masculine noun for any masculine noun we can use this as a um, uh, in the accusative case so we have to change uh, ihr into uh, ihr we have to add en in the in the end so year and for it is like a ein and like that also ein and partner year and partner your partner if it is the for the feminine feminine gender yeah so it is only applicable for the year and adding only for the masculine gender for the feminine gender we have to keep it as such so year partner in 
it is also has been has been listed in the accusative cast for the knock the telephone number so fragrance here a partner uh, order here a partner in knock the telephone number not here and see so we asked so we can ask the partner so we used to hear a telephone number so telephone number here is again it is a it is a feminine gender so that's why it has been given here so uh, here uh, here it is unnecessary whether are we going to ask about a male person the telephone number his telephone number or a female person about her telephone number it is uh, it is irrelevant here we are going to just to change this accusative accusative case depending on the noun gender only so here it is the telephone number is feminine gender so that's why we are asking here on the above case the partner is masculine gender so we have said it is here and partner and the partner in is here a partner in why because the partner in is a feminine gender noun okay so uh, similarly for telephone number we used here a telephone number for the handy number we used a, here a handy number so handy number is also in the feminine gender f so we can start with null at c1 fion f and then uh, nine then like that we can in, initially we can say the telephone number like that but uh, later on we have to go with the two digits number as our way to uh, tell the telephone number okay but here we have one thing we have to look at is the zahl and lisen so it is always uh, they have a the german language has a way to read the numbers so the first one you have to put a, uh, i mean for example the 14 the 14 we have to pronounce the the first digit first like the first digit is that is i will say it is one's position so as though in the in the first standard mathematics and all they will go with the, the ones and tens position so the ones position is your four so we have to start our uh, start our number saying by the fear and then uh, here the 10 is hiding here so it is zane so fear zane totally like that if i want to say 23 means i have to go with the dry first dry and and then the 20 is hiding here dry wound so i have to add here wound dry wound zwanzish dry wound zwanzish okay and then uh, finally we are going to listen to the thus alphabet horenzi yes then bushtab and graph who listen see then lot method aufgabe 7a buchstaben rap 1 2 So uh, nothing more uh, important here. So we can go to the barrier and Z then dialogue. We has to Alexis V beta. So we V beta is I'm sorry I uh, I don't hear you hear you properly. So is the meaning for the V beta. Can't do this bookstabiering. So can you say spell your uh, name slowly? So here we are saying letter by letter, alphabet by alphabet. Uh, a L E X I S we are saying here and V is the inner email address. So it is Alexis Barbos. Uh, arobas and then qnet.com and also here they have given it like uh, at the, we can say at the, or arobas for the any uh, European language it is arobas uh, in German language it is for the a a is at and uh, the point the period is punct and uh, minus uh, minus they they call it as minus and then it is the underscore is unterstrich so entschuldigung Okay, now a mal bitter, bitter in busy and langsamer. So, can you speak little bit slower? Thus, first hey, I don't understand. And should be wrong, yes, I'm sorry. Now, I'm mal better. One more time, please. This, this three sentences will help us to communicate better with the examiner as well. 
Lander und Sprachen, Diesen Sie, Woher kommen die Personen, Wo wohnen Sie, Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie, Gergansen Sie die Tabelle. So, it is very easy that we have to Rose Louis. Rose Louis was then USA. Sie wohnt in San Francisco. Sie spricht Englisch und Deutsch. Sie, sie lernt Spanisch. So, here I have uh, already uh, in the other book, I have uh, written it. Uh, written it very clearly for uh, when I am teaching to the students so I am just going to take that page and uh, bring it to you now okay I think here also I have uh, I have rubbed okay here it is yeah okay so uh, Com Rose Louis, Com Tos then USA, she won't in San Francisco, she speaks English, one Deutsch, she learns Spanish, so, so Com to USA, so coming from and lives in and speaks English and Deutsch and learns Spanish. Katak Brahman is a Com Tos Algerian, er won't in Genf, er speaks Arabic, Francisish, one learn Deutsch. So Algerian gains Arabic and Francisish, one he learned Deutsch and then Boris Wilder. Uh, Compte aus Österreich, er wohnt in Salzburg, er spricht Deutsch und Englisch, er lernt Arabisch. Und dann, uh, wir können sagen, uh, Boris Wilder kommt aus Österreich, uh, er wohnt in Salzburg, er spricht Deutsch und Englisch, er lernt Arabisch. Und Hong Yang, Hong Yang kommt aus China, sie wohnt in Shanghai, Frau Hong spricht Chinesisch und Deutsch. So Hong Yang kommt aus China, wohnt in, uh, uh, wir können sagen, sie wohnt in, so the, the Third person uh, is a C, it is small C, and uh, we can say year, and then cut up Brahmin also year as the third person, and then for Rose Louise also it is C, this is also small C, small C means she. So here uh, Hong Yang come to China, and then uh, she won't in Shanghai, she spread to Chinese, Kinishi Shun Doisha, and then she learned uh, nothing she is uh, learning as for now, so we have to put a dash over here, but that's it. And then uh, here also we can say Deutschland, uh, in Deutschland uh, the Sprache, the language, Sprache is language, land. And then Österreich also it is Deutsch only, the Schweizer people speak Französisch, Italianisch, Rator, Rator, Manish, uh, and uh, Spanish also. Like that we can able to, the land and Sprache, it is for the extra, extra revision to the languages on the list. That's it. So we are ending the lesson here and we are going to start the next lesson in the next lecture. Thank you so much.